okay so generally as I said before I'm not one to really broadcast or be showy for you know the items that I have and I definitely don't want this video to come across as bragging or boasting or anything like that but I just figured that this would be good content for my channel showing some of my loves some of my favorite things that I'm interested in if you are interested in watching these items or watching me unbox these items then you can stay tuned but definitely this is not a video definitely not a video that's braggadocious or basically being swooning over the things that you have and stuff like that I'm generally not that kind of person I usually keep those things to myself and it is what it is it's just stuff but this is for me to share you know some of my likes and things that I'm interested in I am a girly girl so I will like these sorts of things so definitely not a bragging video Hey guys, so this video is going to be about an unboxing of a designer piece that I was able to pick up on this trip. Now, this piece has been so close to my heart for so long. It's been something that I've always wanted and definitely it's it's not to be confused with what's happening now in the case where designer and luxury items has exploded where regular people like you and me can now afford designer it before it was just only for those for the very rich so right now anybody can have designer items now this piece has been on my radar from since I have to say I was a teenager because first spotting this bag I was like whoa I instantly fell in love with the style it was a classic piece it still is a classic piece in the fashion house today and I just always wanted it so this time around on my trip, I was able to pick up this piece and it's in this box. And from what you can read, this is from Louis Vuitton. Now this piece was, it wasn't hard to find. It's not one of those pieces where they're always sold out or stuff like that. This is just a classic piece. Most persons these days are not going for the very basic and um, classic pieces, but I am definitely because, as I said, it's something I've always wanted. So, we're going to unbox this. Now, this is not a true unboxing because I have opened this before and I was there when it was packaged, so it's really not an honest unboxing. So, the piece comes by the size of the box. You can tell, definitely tell it's like a bag. The piece comes in this dust bag right here. We're going to open it up. And it is the Speedy in the Damier, the Speedy 30 in the Damier Evian print. Now, the original piece that we I would have seen as a child would have been the classic monogram print. But I didn't go for monogram very well. I didn't go for monogram for the very reason that the handles, the tabs are all untreated leather. And with untreated leather, it does it vaquetas over time if you're into luxury you know what that means it basically it ages so it comes a very light it's a very pale nudie color and over time with wear with the oils from your hands it darkens the wood even just having it there the wood the, not the wood the leather ages and that's a look I would definitely really not gravitate to because it gets darker over time the older the bag gets and I'm not really a fan of that so I went with a dummy I've been theme or print where it basically stays like this for as long as it's it's around so as I said it looks like this <coughs> Now this is not the first piece I've bought from the fashion house before. I have purchased like smaller goods, smaller pieces where I can have full use out of. Some of those pieces I have right here. The first piece I'll mention to you is the the clay, which is French for keys or key key pouch. It's known in English as key pouch, but it's the clay in French. And this is in the classic monogram style. I wanted it in the monogram style because I thought it looked better in the monogram style. What I find what I like about monogram, I like monogram but in smaller pieces which don't have that very much leather and I'll show you in another piece that I have. 
but I basically use this to carry like cards if I'm going out and I'm carrying a small bag or some money it looks like this on the inside I get it if I get like a you know I'm just carrying just a little bit of cash cards driver's license IDs I will carry around in this little cute number and it's so cute it's so adorable and it's a very very versatile the next piece I would like to show you is the mini pochette in the damier bin size and I purchased this in the damier bin size for one main reason that it would fit or match the print of this bag one day and it is so cute it's so versatile I've gotten the most wear out of this as a little wristlet you can put it in the bag in the speedy and it's a catch-all where you can put like your small items that you don't want to get lost around in there it's very versatile it could I usually carry it like this but you can hook it off and carry it like this little mini bag like this some people get a longer strap and hook it on and carry it like this as a crossbody I like these pieces because they're very versatile and they have multi-use now the third item which I have is the larger to the mini pochette and this is the pochette accessoire now this is the big pouch now I purchased this <coughs> I wanted it in the monogram I didn't like it in the damier bin. I like monogram pieces with very small amount of leather, as I said, and this pouch holds a lot. Now, it comes with a little wristlet, but I really don't use the wristlet because I wanted this specifically as a crossbody bag. I couldn't see any other use for, as it, uh, for it as a, other than a crossbody. And I've had just a little no-name generic chain on here and this can fit a lot this can also fit the mini pushers inside of and obviously the clay you can just put these inside like so they fit zip right up like so you can fit like your airpods your phone Anything that you can think of, lip gloss, compact powder, little mini perfume samples, you can fit inside. So definitely, I always thought very long and hard about the pieces I'm collecting. Not because there was in trend, that's what everybody has, but what I'm going to get the most use out of. And definitely, I feel, cons con basically feel, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Content with the pieces that I have because I know I can get the most use out of this. This is my favorite style of top handle bag. It's I've had another bag, a Tommy Hilfiger bag in this exact shape and I've used it a lot and this is definitely a style I know. Another useful bag I think is a Neverfull, another basic bag but um, the Neverfull is something most people use for traveling. I like the open concept of a Neverfull. Again, I had another bag similar to that and that's like it. A, a cheap alternative that was a what Kent Cole bag I think with the same open concept and I found a lot of use for that so I know they never fall would be useful for me as well but in time to come I'm not crazy over the bag so that's why I never really thought to get it um, like that I would eventually add it to my collection but I'm not in a hurry to because it's not a ooh that's a bag I always wanted kind of bag but this one is so if you like my video today you can go ahead and subscribe down below for other reviews on other things like tech, um, luxury items, makeup tutorials, fashion hauls, makeup hauls, try-ons, whatever, you know, the girly stuff. And we can chit-chat and get to know each other. <laughs>